The first is to create a patient, like add a patient, which I will not show you, but it's easy. You add a patient. This one is called test four. Uh, patient is male and has a class one malocclusion. So, and then what you do, you import the 3D files right here. And all that needs to be done is to drag and drop. So I'm going to take the upper, drag and drop it into the file folder. So it's here, the lower is here. And by the way, we'll have another video. In this one, I cleaned up with mesh mixer. When you use a lab bench scanner, sometimes you need to clean the file. So this is done. And we say, okay, the data is now uploaded. Thing is, once it's imported, right here, you can view. So you got the upper view, lower view, and occlusal view. So the first thing you do, you reorient the models in occlusion. Actually, the models before occlusion, we need to make the base. So we do that. Then we need to reorient the models, as you can see. So you can rotate this. So now we have an orientation, a little bit better. Probably. You may want to move this up, move this this way, and move this this way. So you can check now from everywhere if it's well oriented. Be careful to put the XYZ at zero. Zero. So I'm going to take this, the mandible, and say, okay, next step create the base for the maxilla. So you go for a plane. That's what I found the most useful. There may be some other solutions. You can click right here. You see the green? So you can make the base, oops, no, not this one, this one. So you can make the base bigger or smaller. Make sure there is no artifacts. It's a nice base. So you say, okay. And then you create the mandibular base right here. So again, you can decide to make the base a little bit bigger. You like what you see, you separate. And then from this side, you see create study models, edit the mesh and clipping view. You don't want that. So then you move on to here, which is called segmentation. And then you go back here. So it's kind of strange. You have to go through this first and then the tabs on the left hand side. So let's do the maxillary segmentation. And without, they don't tell you what to do, but you have to click on every mesiodistal end of every single tooth. So this is right there. And then you go the contours of the teeth. Spend a bit of time still to correct what, what you don't like. With the, um, by left clicking, you can add little tabs, okay? Make sure that you have what you want right here. There is a problem here. So let's contour this tooth a bit better. Let's do the axes. So you can again, as I said, you have to select one tooth, check inclination, rule number three of Andrews, rotation, rule number five of Andrews, and the tip, rule number two of Andrews. Be careful when you move, you can see that the axes move a little bit. So you may want to overcorrect it. I'm not going to do every single tooth, but you could. You see this one looks like it's a little bit strange. So I think I will change that one. And you can also move this this way. Let's assume we like, we like this. So we segment everything. So then the maxilla is segmented, we say OK. And then we do the manual. So I'm at 35, 36, 37, contour. Well, you see that was a problem so okay good so we fix that the contours we're going to accept for the sake of time
Okay. And then you can go to 3D setup. And you stop there. 